So, um, like I said earlier, um, I don't want to do to propose that. Uh, please, that is a company that helps you accept payments from your customers anywhere um, in the world. So, um, let's let's talk about the candidates. Let's get to know them a bit. Please. So, uh, can you please introduce yourself? Okay, so my name is Trisha Ikomoba. Um, on Instagram, I'm Trisha Beads, the small business maker. Now, what I do is I work with small businesses. So, over the last 11 years, I've worked with about 10 multinationals uh, in marketing and sales. So, uh, Done work for Coca Cola, Unilever, Nigerian Brewing, British American Tobacco, Japanese Tobacco International.
this is the um, contact us with this number of people. So two is bio, the bio needs to tell me everything that you do. And you need to fill those three blocks on them. So the contact, I need to click it and it should take me to your phone number. So all those numbers on the bio, it doesn't work because I don't have time to start copying your number out. Right? So you should put your number in the call button. Ensure you put your email address in the email button. Ensure you link, if you have an office, a space, link it in the, in the direction so that when I click it, it opens Google Maps on my phone and it can lead me to your store. So those three buttons under your profile, ensure that uh, you edit them right. Then also on the bio, ensure you have a link in the bio that takes me somewhere. So like I'm a service business, if you go on my bio, the link there takes you to my website where you can see all the coaching services I have and if you're interested, you can choose one. For some people that sell products, the link in their bio is their WhatsApp number. So when they click the link, it takes them straight to a WhatsApp chat. I don't need to go and start saving your WhatsApp number and adding you. So it's really easy. I'll look for it and tell you how. So you can just put it there. So that's the second thing. Is it third? Third. Second. <laughs> okay, so the third thing is um, your content. You need to ask yourself, what content am I going to be publishing on my Instagram page, um, right? Because content is the live wire of your page. Um, what are we going to be coming to your page um, to, to read about? I'll talk about content one later. So three is ensure your content. Number four, your picture quality. Invest in a good phone if you are going to succeed on Instagram. It's no more accepted that, oh no, invest in a good phone. Your pictures have to be on point. Especially if you are selling products that we need to appreciate the beauty to buy. So number one is fashion, number two is beauty, number three is food. So have you been in a situation where you saw this nice plate of a pussy and you began to feel hungry? True of course. But you are not hungry, you just finished eating. So it's the whole psychology. Your brain is telling you that you need to eat because the plate of food looks really good. Right, so four is pictures, invest in um, good pictures. And the fifth one is you need to tell yourself that you're going to do the work. You have to be consistent. Instagram rewards consistency. So if you showed up four days ago, sorry, Instagram will reward you if you are consistent by ensuring that it shows your page to more people. So with the current Instagram algorithm, the same thing with Facebook, it's no longer chronological order. Which means if I post at 4 a.m. and he posted at 5 a.m. before, you will see my own first before you see his own, right? That's not how it works again. It's no longer chronological. Now, Instagram will just decide who they will show your post to. And that decision is made based on several indices that we'll um, talk about. And one of that is the consistency. If they see that you show up every day, you are posting every day or every other time, then you have the more likelihood of being shown to more people. Because currently, Instagram will show your posts to an average of 5 to 10% of your total followers. So it's getting harder, right, to succeed on Instagram, but you just need to put in the work. Yes, those are the five. All right, thank you. Those are really solid. I hope you guys took them down. All right. So um, something else I'm going to talk to you about, I would ask you, rather, is um, what are some of the best ways to grow your follower accounts on Instagram? And how do you get your followers to become paying customers? So like, what are like the best ways to get the uh, followers in the first place? And then when they become followers, how do you then convert them to become also paying customers, which is like the ultimate goal? Okay, so there are two ways you can do it. Um, you want to do it yourself, or you want to pay a boss to do it. Um, Instagram is getting smarter, so they block off a lot of bots. Um, if you're going to do it yourself, it's a lot of work. So I keep saying it's a lot of work, right? Because it's a lot of work. And um, so one way that you can gain more followers, which Instagram loves is if you do ads. They're looking for your advertising money. Um, so if you do ads, it shows your ads to more people. It shows your posts to more people. You gain followers. That's standard. But outside of that, um, how you can get smart customers who are more likely to patronize you. Now, have a list of places where we currently buy. So that would be a competition, right? 
so have a list of their of their uh, pages, right? And go there and engage. So you're not all, not all those people that will come and be posting. We sell fine X Y Z. No, you are spam, right? So you go and look at the people that engage on their pages and follow them and engage. So um, someone did. Uh, uh, analysis. So what he did was he went on his followers, on his competitors' pages, and followed 50 of them, 50 of their followers alone. Only 10 followed him back. Now he did another set, followed 50 of his competitors' followers and liked their pictures. About 15 followed him back. Now he went again, followed 50, followed them, liked and commented. 28 followed him back. So you can see that the more you engage with them, you know, so that's one way that you can get followers who are quality and are more likely to buy. Go and look for them. Engage them. Now, if you do not have the time, people pay bots. There are so many bots. Uh, there are so many bots that you can pay that will mimic you and they will go and like people's pictures and follow people as you. But be careful so that Instagram does not find out the bot and shuts your page down. Yeah, yeah like that's actually when you're receiving because usually um, there are other things that are technically allowed. So I think I'll move on the very first suggestion. And yeah. stories. So Instagram stories is one quick way to win because people that are not following you can see your stories. Unlike your posts on the page where I have to follow you to see it, right? Or a story, it can show it to anybody. So ensure that your stories is active. And it's very easy, like we are here now, you take a quick video and put it up on your stories and say, oh, we're here learning, we're here learning XYZ, try it. If you are a manufacturer, show behind the scenes in your stories. When you are making the footwear, when you are packaging it, all those things, they can go on your stories. And use Jotas. When they're posting our stories, Jota is your location, right? So Lagos, you can even narrow it down, the Kedja, Suleri, Lekki One, etc. Right? And another way to be discovered by people is hashtags. That's the final one to talk about. Hashtags. When you post, use hashtags. Many people have different theories about hashtags, but hashtags work. Right? But you need to find out which hashtag will work for you, right? So there are three levels of hashtags um, that you can use. The first one is the industry. So what's your industry? Somebody, what's your industry? Let's do hashtags for you. What's retail? Retail, what retail? So you sell children where? So the general hashtag for how would be? Children's wear. Yes, somebody else. Kids wear. Fashion for children, right? That's general. They cannot come down to product specific. So we should have like three or four general hashtags. Let's say you want to sell a top for a girl. That's product specific. Let's come up with hashtags for that. Girls top. Yellow, if it's yellow, yellow something something top, right? Children's shirts. Children's blouse. Do you understand? Then you now come down. The last one is your brand. So there are three different types of hashtags, right, that you can use. And try to have hashtags that have location. So children's clothes in Lagos. Children's shirts in Lagos. Kiddies boutique in Kedja. So you have to mimic, when, when you are searching for something yourself, how do you search? If you want to buy this laptop, what will you type? What will you type? So we need the way you search because like it or not, Instagram search is becoming the new Google. Right? People are searching a lot um, on Instagram. So ensure that you use those hashtags that when we search, right, we will discover you, would we'll likely follow and patronize. Another way that you could get people to notice you is have you heard of what they call strategic commenting? Okay, let me ask another question. Have you ever gone on all those popular, you want to be Instagram, but any 
um, post and you saw a comment and you're like, who is this person? And you clicked on the handle to see who is the person that typed this thing, either nonsense or good. Has it ever happened to you? Yeah, That's why you call strategic comments. So, but don't be the ones that we are trying to see who is this silly child, right? So you can have strategic comments on some macro influencers post. So it's the opposite of spamming. So you tell people come and say, oh, we, we have that numbers, but I get to make it lighter. Hello. That's not what we're talking about. But you contribute to the post and make your own point so knowledgeable that we'll be like, who is this person? And we'll normally click and follow. Right? Another way that you can get followers who are interested in patronizing you is partnerships. Right? Partnerships. Partnerships is growing so big. So myself and my job branches were partners. Right? When I first came on Instagram, um, I was looking, okay, who is, what's, what's happening here? And I reached out to her uh, because I know that once I open my mouth to teach, people will listen because of my style of teaching. So I needed the platform to teach. So I put her and said, hey, I, well, can I come and teach your followers for free on your page, right? I have knowledge in X, Y, Z. And she was like, okay. And that day I taught on her page, I got like 400 followers and I'm like, Jesus, this is how we used to do it. <laughs> you know, and then it wasn't just followers. Of the 400, about 10 of them were my DM and they paid for one of my courses. Um, you know, and I've gone ahead to partner with more people. So for you, it could just, you, you don't have to partner with a, an influencer or a celebrity. First of all, many partnerships with celebrities is a waste of your time and your money. So all of you that will send close to celebrities and you are praying that they get from a shell, you keep praying, right? Because they get, all of you are sending to the same celebrity. How many bodies does she have? Or how many shoes can he properly wear every day, right? Why not look for micro influencers who have 5,000 followers or 10,000 followers that have quality? How do you know someone that has quality followers? Check the ratio of the followers to the comments and the likes. You know that we can buy likes too, so I always go for comments. If you have 100,000 followers, I see 10,000 likes and only two comments, something is wrong. It tells me they bought the followers, they bought the likes, but you cannot buy comments. So please do, try to look for pages that engagement and partner with you. Partnership can even just be shout out for shout out. What's that? If you have 5,000 followers, I have 5,000 followers. I'll shout out your business and you shout out my own. But something you should know is you need to play on the psychology of your followers. So if you just come and shout out for, sorry, what do you do, sir? Uh, well, I'm here because we sell wallpapers on. Wallpapers. Okay, yes. so if I just um, posted on my page and said, oh, buy wallpapers from this business, they sell wallpapers. You might not like only have 30 likes because we don't like you to sell to us. But shout out with a story and tell me how your walls were coming apart and God just stumbled on these people. Oh, they are the answer to your prayers. Try it. You will have over a hundred. Right? Because people connect more with emotion, people connect more with stories than art. So it could just be shout out for him and they'll shout out for me. Nobody knows what we did. It's just an agreement between ourselves. And out of my small 2,000 followers, he might get 10. And of the 10, somebody might be interested. Do you understand? So there are different ways. Just keep thinking of how you can get quality followers. All right, so um, talking about followers and how to get followers, I see that you talked broadly about two different things. So one of them is that um, actively position yourself to be discovered. So which is where stories comes in, using hashtags, um, thinking the way that people who want to buy your, your stuff, how do they search, and then using hashtags to make something like that. Yeah. And I think the second thing you talked about is actively engaging with customers or followers of people like you. So if they are following a business like you, that means that there's a high chance that they are interested in what they are doing and that they might be interested in yours too. So um, this is two things. Discoverability, position yourself to be discovered, and also go after the followers of 
people that do what you do, that sell what you sell to. All right, so thank you very much for that. Um, so quickly, next question. Sorry, um, one other thing. So you don't only have to look for your customer from your competition. So ask yourself, if your customer is, let's say your customer is a mom, right? Where do moms hang out on Instagram? So one, they are on your, your competitor's pages, or two, they are on pages where they are trying to get information to be better moms. So they will be on your Lagos mom, on your mama list, on your pit mom, do you understand? So both, many of them are trying to lose weight, go to the weight loss coaches page and go and sleep there, right? To find out, find them there. Many of them are trying to be fine, so they will follow fashion and beauty influencers. So you go there and look for them. So do not only stay on the competition page. Mimic the life of your of your um, ideal customer and go to the places where they will normally be. Do you understand? So yeah. Okay, that makes sense. <clears throat> so um, the next question is, what are like the most important metrics to track on Instagram? So like as a business owner, is it the follower count? Is it like the number of likes per post? Like, what are like the really important metrics to track? I would say track your engagement. Engagement oh. is numbers of likes, number of comments, number of saves, how many people save, how many people share. That's what's important. Um, well, it's okay to, to track followers, but the truth about tracking followers is you get carried away. Oh, I have 20,000 followers, I have arrived. Um, but of 20,000, you only yes, 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 have 50 likes in a post and like, um, what's actually going on. So you should be more worried about your engagement um, the, the likes, the comments, um, the shares and saves, because it tells you that they are enjoying your content or not. So if you have a business account, you can go into the insights of every post to check. So the posts that have the more engagement tell them that the kind of posts that we're looking for the most. So for instance, for me, any post where I put up myself, I will get like 1,800 likes. I'm like that. Ah, where I was like, when I would post, come and buy my course, I would see 200 likes. You know, so he has taught me that, okay, this is what they are interested in. So now, when I sell my course, I put my face inside the flyer. Change my face you are looking for, see it inside there. But if I wasn't looking at my insights, I wouldn't understand what attracts um, people to read. But some people just need something to bring them in to read and see that this is what they need. So keep checking the insights of your different posts. And you see the ones that have higher engagement. It might be that it's the time that you posted it. Right? It might be the time, it might be the type of content. So check, are you posting right? The right times that your audience are online. So for me, I can get away with posting 10 p.m. But your business might not. Because my audience, they are still on Instagram at 10 p.m. trying to hustle sales. Um, for you, you, your target might be sleeping by then. Um, so ensure that you are posting right. So your insights will show you the posts that are doing better. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. So basically, um, I'm going to highlight a really, really important metric um, to measure is engagement, not just follow account or how many people are. So like how many people are liking your post, how many people are dropping comments, um, as you said. All right, so talking about um, engagement, I notice on your uh, Instagram page, for instance, that you have high levels of engagement. So how do you manage to get that type of high level of engagement on your business page, on Instagram? Okay, so it's content. Um, let's talk about content. Um, I understand the content that my audience are looking to get. Right? Um, that's why I get high level of engagement. So what I, the mistake I see that many businesses might the mistake I see that many businesses um, do is they just keep selling um, blue wallpaper for sale, available in this site. Next post, green and red wallpaper for sale, available in this site, no. So you need to ask yourself, what other types of content can I publish on my page for customers or for people to just be on my page? Not like, sorry, not that, okay, thank you. The objective of content is to create top of mind awareness for your business. It's not necessarily sales. Top of mind means that 
when somebody asks me, Patricia, ah, when can I buy wallpaper? I'll remember him because he has been educating me and giving me interesting content over time. That's what content does. It's not about sales. Sales will come, but it's for you to remain top of mind. There are a million fashion brands on Instagram. There are 500 wallpaper brands on Instagram. Why should I remember you? Right? So you should have something called content pillars. Content pillars are basically topics from where you can pull out content. And every business must have education as one of their content pillars. What do I mean by education? So I'm still using this wallpaper business, right? What can he educate us on? He's not a teacher, he's not a coach. But he can tell us how to style our living rooms using wallpaper. He can show us what colors go with what colors. That is what you are searching on Google, true or false. That's what you are going to YouTube to search. So your Instagram page should be Google, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all in one, so that we don't leave it. And you will note that it's those types of um, educational posts that will get more engagement. So you're a fashion brand, tell me how to style myself to OAMBE. You know, we'll call it the OAMBE starter pack. Daily. This one, this one. Try to make it quirky and fun. Don't be too serious, right? Because you are dealing with human beings who like a little humor. So have education, then humanize the page. So let us see you put it in the work. It's all behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, either you are, you are work producing it or you are packing it out for deliveries or you sell food and you went into the market. And you're showing us, oh, see what I do for you guys. You know, so try to relate with people on Instagram like they are your friends. They are in faceless, imaginary friends. Right? So at the end of the day, it's content. For me, I get a lot of engagement because of the type of content I give um, out on my page. And the pages I follow as well, the pages that give me some level of, con of engagement, whether it's educational or fun. So you know how to laugh, I know where to go to. You know how to learn about fashion, I know where to go to. You know, so you need to take the pain. Many business owners don't want to take that stress to go and get the knowledge to teach other people. You're just looking to sell. You know, so you sell clothes. Don't always only put, put up clothes. Tell me how to style my jeans. Show me how to rock a blazer. I, many of us don't know how to mix and match what you want to sell to us. So many times we don't buy because the ones that are home sell, we've not looked for how to match it together, right? So tell us this um, do's and don'ts of block hills. Or you know, there's so many things you can be teaching. Everybody here must leave and begin to teach something in your industry or in your space so that you bring more people to your page. And notice when you post up those kinds of content, you get more engagement than buy. Right? And then ensure that when you post up those kinds of content, you've done it nicely. So we all know how to use Canva, yes? Yeah. Canva? Yes. Yes. How many of us don't know Canva? Okay, so it's called C A N B A. Canva, right? Yeah. Canva is the alternative. When you have Canva, you can find your graphic design. Literally, wait, 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 calm down. You will still wait, okay? You will still need them for the high level design. But for the everyday designs, you do not need to pay them. Are you a graphic designer? No, we will still need you for high level designs. But as a small business owner, the first thing that we try to do is to save costs. And paying a graphic designer to design for you every day is not cost effective. So I will definitely never advise anybody to design your logo by yourself or do your stationery by yourself. Or if you have new arrivals, all those high level of Merry Christmas, all those things, you'll still go to him. But for every day, hello guys, I'm visiting. Why should I pay for that? No, go on Canva, learn how to use it absolutely free. Play with it, and on Canva you can design for your page, you can design for your Instagram stories as well. They have the dimensions already, just go in there, learn it. They have so many templates, over 500 templates that you can adapt, but ensure that you use your own colors so that your page is not looking like a masquerade. 
let your paint look beautiful with your brand colors when you're designing. So don't worry, we'll bring this next. <laughs> so you, you, you'll notice, for instance, yeah, okay. So you notice, for instance, that Nigel Branchick, I think she uses white and green every yeah, time. Yeah. So usually when I'm scrolling through my feed and I see white and green, I think it's her. So um, Canva is um, Canva, C-A-N-V-A.com. You can check it out. Um, I think what she's and saying is that... And it has an app, so you can download the app. Yeah, so you can download the app. So I think what she's saying is that for low-level everyday things, use it. If um, it's something that is more engaging in the logo, something that has to do with your brand, you can um, engage in Absolutely. graphic designer. Yeah. So something else that I think I noted from what you said about engagement really is that um, when you are selling something, it's expected that you have some domain expertise in that thing. So show up the knowledge that you have, and it's not every time that you should go as hey, buy from me, buy from me. So if you're selling shoes, for instance, you should know about uh, maybe even just history of shoes. Just yes. to um, equip, equip you with take right? care of shoes. Exactly, all uh, of those things. Yes, so. so, it's just random information that <clears throat> has to do about shoes. Over time, people start to associate you as that shoe guy. Mm-hmm. That guy that knows shoes, that understands shoes. Yeah. So, the day you say, hey, buy this shoe, they are more, they yeah, are more likely. likely to say, yeah, yeah this guy really does know his stuff and I'm going to buy it. Mm-hmm. So, um, with respect to the engagement, show people that you know your stuff. Don't always just sell to them. And um, also do like really good um, design. Yes, also. and the Bible says give and what? Simple. Give people don't go to church. So um yeah, like going straight to the next question now. What, um, what are some of like the new what are some of the Instagram features that you think people are not taking good advantage of that people are not doing the one? So, because like almost every day there's a new feature. You talked about saving, for instance. I just checked it out right now. I didn't even know that that was a thing, like okay. to save, to save, uh, to save a post. So, yeah, what are some of Instagram features that you think that people are not taking enough advantage of, and that you think people should leverage on for their business, to grow their business? Instagram stories. That's the one and only feature that I'm going to talk about. Um, the people that use Instagram stories will tell you that they sell 40% more on stories than on their page. The average person who uses stories well will tell you that. And I was having a conversation with one of them yesterday. Uh, but she's doing, it, she's doing sales, so she sells um, fitness clothes, Shredder Gang, and she was doing sales and they were in her stories. I'm like, ah, but well, it's not on your page. And she's like, Trisha, when it's on my page, they don't buy. But when it's on stories, it's sold out. Um, so, stories is something, we know stories now, it's just things, just bubbles on the top of the page. Do we use them? How do you use them? You watch that people, you, what are we watching about you? <laughs> okay, so you need to have content on stories. But the mistake that people make again is you just put up the image there. What am I supposed to do with it? There has to be a call to action. So if you want me to buy it, to tell me that, oh, this book, available in two sizes, 200 naira, send a message to buy. Right? And then you can put your hashtags, your locations on the story. Well, ensure that there is a call to action on the story. What do you want me to do? You know, and people use story, um, stories to tell stories. Right? There's somebody's story that you need to you need to watch um, to understand how to tell stories with story. His handle is at John Obidi. He knows how to use his story to sell. He's telling you a story, you don't know when okay, he's telling you a story and you don't know when you are enjoying it and then it gets to the end and it's like click here for the course. And you tell him click because if you enjoy the story you can give it. Uh, right, so learn how to use Instagram stories and let me deviate a little bit of Instagram. WhatsApp stories is another gold mine. People sell a lot from WhatsApp stories. Don't take your WhatsApp stories for granted. Especially if it's your business WhatsApp where people chat with you to buy. Use the stories, it will show them. They will know they chatted with you last year to buy, to show them what they are selling now and they might be interested. So um, at what point does it become so much like stories? So this is what I mean. 
sometimes uh, on Instagram, and there's someone that has like maybe 50 stories or something like that, and then it gets tiring. Like, so at what point does it become too much? So every, every uh, too much of everything is bad, right? Now, people that I see have those 50 stories, what will happen is the follow through rate will reduce. So if you check the inside, maybe the first five um, stories, maybe 1,000 people viewed it. So we need to go down 800, 700. By the time you get to the last post, maybe only 50 people will view it. So I always advise at every point in time, half between 4 to 10 is the same. Stories disappear after 24 hours now. So wait for the next 24 hours. Then you load us again with another 4 to 10. But once it's too much, we'll flip to the next person and we'll miss um, what the content you have in the other. Now, if you have so much information you want to give us, instead of putting it in stories, put it on your Instagram highlights. We know what highlights is, right? No? Um, highlights is, you know those circles in the bio? Those circles under the bio? Those are highlights. Instagram highlights. So, Instagram realized that because stories disappear in 24 hours, they wanted to give you another platform to showcase those stories that can last a lifetime. So that's what's called Instagram Highlights. So Instagram Highlights, I like to say, is like having albums. You know those your photo albums? So you can have titles for the different highlights. So this title can be our products. And you put all the pictures and stories of your products there. The next one can be something. So just title them. Give them nice cover design so that we are more likely to click on them and just flip through. So look at highlights like your albums. And in your albums, it's only the finest pictures that make it to your photo album, true or false. So it has to be your best products that should make it there. And you can put your, you can put one highlight as DIY. All those teachings you've been teaching us. Put it there, let people come and learn things about your industry or your products. So uh, is there a limit of highlights? Like is there a limit or you can have as many as possible? Uh, I'm, I don't know of limits. I don't know of limits yet. Right. Well, I see people have as uh, many as nine. I don't know if that's limits. Okay, all right. So um, what's the best way to leverage the Instagram features such as um, Instagram stories? You've talked to me about that, but like just a bit more. And IGTV, which is um, I think something new. So how do you use them on your own business page? I don't use IGTV. Uh, so it's not every new thing that I jump on. Um, I'm very careful because every day there's a new Instagram update. Like those guys are just sleeping. Um, so I just like to always say the ones that you can use, are you using them well? Before you jump on the next one. Um, so IGTV is good if you're a content creator or you're a content provider. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing on IGTV if I'm selling you shoes. They'll be tired of my videos. Except I want to create content or curate content. Um, so know what works for your own type of business. If you are the storyteller type of brand, for instance, I should be on IGTV because there I can be teaching people things and all that to increase my influence. Um, photographers can use it. Um, you know, the different types of people can use it. So for instance, the graphics designer, he started his IGTV channel. And what he just does there is he ranks the frustrations of dealing with clients is very hilarious. I just go there to laugh. You know, how somebody who wants to pay him 10K for logo and the person has asked him to revise it 40 times. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't understand. You know, so he just puts all his frustrations of working with clients because many times we are always frustrated at them. They don't deliver on time. You keep calling your graphic designer or your website guy. How far, how far, how far? So, but they have their own story we never hear. So he decided to tell stories from the other side, you know, but that takes a lot of time. So if you think that that would add value to your brand, then you can use it. But everybody has to use an Instagram story. All right, thank you very much for that. So um, another important thing is, so sometimes when you see some people's Instagram pages, like even without seeing the name, sometimes you know that this is this person um, that is posting this um, this thing on Instagram, right? So how, what's like the best way to craft a brand persona on Instagram? Something that resonates with a local and international audience. Okay, so you need to treat your Instagram page like your brand, right? And there are some things that I need you to tick. 
Number one is, what is the tone of voice of your Instagram page? A tone of voice is the way that you normally talk, right? So, let me use a random example. How many of us remember officially F60 handle from back in the day? What, what tone of voice was it? Surpassing, what else? Few more. Few more, right? And it was actually also very informative. So, everybody would agree that that page was that way. How? Because every tweet that came out of that page was in that tone of voice. So ask yourself, what tone, even on Insta blog like that, those their captions, what, those their captions are horrid. Like, you're like, who is this, this person will make heaven, right? They say it all the time that the person who writes their captions will make heaven. But they always remain in character. They are always in character. That's his tone of voice. So you need to decide what will be the tone of voice on my page. So will I be the prim and proper, formal type of brand that only writes in complete sentences? Or will I be the hey guys, hey people type of brand? Do you understand? Will I be like a big brother type of brand, always giving advice that they did not ask, they did not ask me for? <laughs> you know, what type of brand will you be? You know, so that's one, have your um, tone of voice, right? The second one is have your visual identity. And the major form of visual identity is your color. So what are your brand colors? You can take that right off your logo, right? And ensure that any design you do on that camera or any design that your graphics artist does for you has to be in your colors. So over time, when people see the colors, they remember your brand because you have bastardized our eyes with those colors. Right? So tone of voice, colors. The third one is the layout of your page. So do you go on some people's pages and you see that all their designs are on one line? And then all the pictures are on one line and something else. It is intentional because yes, psychologists on Instagram have told us that pages that have well arranged layouts, people spend more time on them. And I know that that happens to me. When I go on a page that the layout is very nice, I go and spend some time on that page. So it's not about creating design, it's about laying them right. Because I'm trying I want to open a page so everybody can go there and see. Can I get for so you see what the layout I'm talking about here? Exactly. 
your thing is to be that guy that sells the pigeon. Like, always yeah, so it, it just so, like there's somebody who only sells the pigeon. She sells palm oil, you do food, you do why food. She
to work are you on Instagram fantastic so what time do you commute to work 6 30 to 7 30 your post your first post must be up there because many of if your audience is up on your mobile we are in transit and if we're not the ones driving even those that are driving when they see small traffic you see them pressing phone my continue to have accidents <laughs> right so that time, and then when do they come up again? Noon, during lunch, they are having lunch, chatting, and they are pressing, who checked me out, who liked my picture, what's going on? So if you have afternoon posts, you post it then. Then in the evening, when they close, they cannot wait to grab the phone. So from six downward, right? But if your audience is a mom, from eight, she'll most likely cut off because she, when she gets home, she has to check homework, bathe the children, or sing them lullabies or something. She might come back when she's in bed at 10 to just say, good night, guys. What's going on? Okay, good night. And she goes, and it happens again. So just mirror a day in the life of your audience, and you will find out the time. And when you mirror it and you post it on those times, check your insights. To see which ones work better so you can tweak it. So um, ideally, try and work your customers or your followers into one. So like what's like the one most representative person that can stand for your followers and then try and see what their typical life looks like. And then the periods when you think that you'll have some time to check um, Instagram, then those should be the time when you should post, right? Yes, and even the type of content you are posting still mirror their lives. You shall not, you cannot, you should not, you must not post come and buy in the morning if you are a fashion brand. The only brand that can post come and buy is a food brand because we woke up hungry. You cannot come and put jeans and shoes or wallpaper. And then come and buy. You need to mirror. Did you wake up with the notion to buy? No. no. So when you wake up, what are the things that would attract you? That's why if you post all those motivational quotes, you can do it. Go have a fabulous day. That's what aligns with us at that point in time, right? Because maybe we went to bed, we're tired, and we woke up after this long day, and then I see something that charges me up or boosts my spirit. That's what I'm looking for in the morning. Then no time, <laughs> when I walk small, they cannot come and tell you I'm marking. But you can't be standing, so that's, those are the things that we do wrong. You can't be standing there. But what are you standing to? Is it animals? Is it human beings? We are not in the mood to buy. Except for if it's food, 6.30 a.m., post it so that I can order it to get to me before I get to office. Do you understand? Even 6 a.m., you see food brands, they woken up and post them. Because we need to eat breakfast. And many of us don't have time to make it at home, right? So know what works for your body. All right, thank you very much. So um, you've talked about Canva. You've talked about Blum.co, right? Blum, yes. Blum, G-R-U-M. Okay, G-R-U-M.co. Now, what other third-party tools or applications um, do you use together with Instagram to run your own business? Um, I use one platform. Webster, W-E-P-S-T-E. Webster, what Webster does is basically to help you generate hashtags. So you can go there and type, so we, we use our example, we type children's fashion. You bring up options that you can use um, for your hashtag. Webster, W for world, Webster, Webster. Um, so I use Webster. Um, I've used um, a bot before, but not to do those follow things. Um, so there are different levels of engagement, right? So I use the bot to engage people in my DM. So have you ever followed a business and you got a welcome message? Thank you for following us. How many of us? Okay, so that, that's the bot I'm talking about. 
So I've used a bot to do that. Um, and I've realized that it converts more people to buy from my type of business. So then, but now I can't handle my DMs, so I don't even add more loot. So what I'd do then was I would put the welcome message in there and automate it. So once you follow me, you get, thank you for following Trisha, you want to grow your business, this, this, that, that, that. And 85% of the time they will reply, ah, yes, so I'm a small business, how can you help me? That's where my, that's where my own marketing starts from. And I'm able to convert some of them to drop their money. Um, so yes, that's the major tool. Um, that I've used. So she talked about um, Webster, W-E-B. Webster is for hashtag. For hashtag, we generate yes. a hashtag. Um, um, Grum.co. Grum.co is for automation. So Grum can do this auto DM thing for you. Yes, Grum can do it. And she talked yeah. about Canva too. Like yes, and you can, so there are different, there are two levels of DMs. Grum can send to new followers. You can send to your existing followers. So let's say you have a promo. 20% off, or you just want to do Christmas sales, go into Grum and tell it to send to all your followers. Hello guys, we're doing a sale. Because the thing is, your customers are more likely to buy from you than new people. Your followers, you understand? Because they are already in your circle. So ensure that you mail us dry. Before you are going outside, you're going to be looking for outsiders. Right? So if you have a promo, don't go using it every day. Good morning. I just want to say hello to you before I'm going. You know, use it for things that are important. You know, like sales, discounts, and all that. But you can just give us um, coupons. And say, use this coupon to get 20% off when next you shop with us. Thank you for being our loyal follower or something. I find that I will appreciate that better. You know, so yes. Thank you very much. So, um, what are like some of the biggest mistakes that you see many businesses do in the way they use Instagram for their business? Um, mistakes. They are not customer centric. Um, so, the one time that all those D, um, screenshots were running up and down, people insulting customers in the DMs. We saw all those pictures. Um, that's one big mistake that I see. So they ask you one question, and the next thing you reply is, stop picking my brain. Um, you know, you think that this is your competitor or something funny. Um, or they're actually rude to customers when they reply. Um, or they're leaving money on the table by not engaging people that comment. So I see it a lot. That's the most common. So somebody commented on your picture and said, oh, this is beautiful. What should you do? It's not thank you, last song, oh no. It's not thank you, this is where sales 101 comes in. That person is a prospect. What do you do to prospect? You target and fire. So you, have, you tell me thank you, you take it one step further. You can take it one step further from the comment sections when you go into my DM. I said, oh, hi, Nisha, thank you. I saw you like that laptop. Well, that top interests you. We also have other things that are this, this, that. Oh, I know I was just passing by. You've done your work. Oh, okay, let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I'll buy one, two, three. Right? So um, that's one major mistake I see. You just let it slide. Or you comment just to thank you. Ah, you need to go and get the money. There is money in between those words. They just do not stay. And there are some people that are, they are reluctant to buy. They want to buy, but they don't want to buy. They need a little money. They need you to, they need that note. They need you to push them um, in the buy direction. So that's one major mistake. The second mistake I see is that you use very poor pictures to market your products or your services. Um, that's something else that I see um, that they do. Then three, you, so for instance, I see a makeup artist. She finally shows her face on the page and the face looks horrid. So I'm asking myself, how am I supposed to put my face on her chair if she cannot even take out her time? See, marketing is intentional, right? So there's nothing like, oh, I was stressed, I just let me post something. No, you cannot not, you cannot just be stressed. All those celebrities that we see post, do you think that they are always, they, 
But I always dress like that to go out. No, some of, some of those pictures are staged photos for the ground. Because people on the ground buy into vanity. Are you or not, we have been. If you spend more than two hours a day on Instagram and you're not getting knowledge, we have been. Me, I say we, so I'm not insulting you. Right? Instagram sets vanity. So you need to feed to people's vanity. Right? And give us what we want to see. In this filter, filter the picture well. You know, arrange it well. And you can pay to learn this thing. There's somebody on Instagram who teaches how to use your phone to take good pictures. That phone, that phone cheap or something, I can't remember handle. You know, they teach you how to use your phone to take pictures of your products, yourself, how to edit it, the angles you should use and all that. Because that's what appeals to us. That kind of picture will not appeal to Twitter users. Twitter users are after knowledge, they are after sarcasm, they are after savagery. If you don't fall into those three, you cannot survive them. Because you'll be wondering, and they it's all, they're just being sarcastic. And you are being uptight. Because you know, on Instagram, everybody's uptight. But they say, well, why are you insulting me? Are you mad? No, that's not how it works on Twitter. They are, they are all sarcastic. When you throw one, they are throwing my own punch. Right? So you need to understand where you on Instagram, your pictures need to be 100 percent If people are doing dumb shit, you have to feel the mistake that I see that um, people make. Okay, thank you very much. So um the next thing I want to talk about is um Instagram's algorithm. We've been saying algorithm, Instagram's algorithm. <laughs> so like what does it really mean? And then um, what are like some of the important things about Instagram's algorithm like you think that um, business no, you talked about uh, a few things related to this. Yes, you talked about that. Is there something else that you think business owners should know? Um, I think I've said everything about it and I've answered um, the other questions. So I'll just recap them. So one is algorithm is no longer chronological, which means it doesn't show posts based on time. Two, the new algorithm shows you posts that it thinks you're interested in. So people complain that, oh, Instagram shows them half-naked girls dancing in your explore page section, right? It's because that's the kind of content you want to look at. <laughs> Instagram is mirroring you, right? So they see that you are mostly on those pages where they're dancing, shaking, shaking, shaking. So your explore page will be full of those kind of things. Right? So that's the new algorithm. It's mirroring people, right? So it's mirroring our interests. So based on what you're interested in, that's what it shows you. So all this fashion for what people it keeps showing them pictures of pages that have a lot of nice things to sell, right? So that's how the new algorithm works. It favors engagement. So try to go for engagement. So your content, all content pillars we spoke about. Try to use sometimes engaging content. And do not be ashamed to ask your um, followers questions. Right? So, even though you already made up your mind, but let them feel like they're part of the process. So, what example can that be? So, um, which, uh, which brand should we use? We use wallpaper, you know. Who else should we use? What's your business? Printing. What do you print? Fantastic. So you put um, two A and B. This core card in white, just the design, with the white as the background, and maybe red as the background, A or B. And you tell us what finding a hard time deciding which one do you guys think is better. We'll come out and answer you, and you're wondering where we came from. Right? So you see us A, no B, red. Ah, maybe you should try P. You see, so try to ask to bring us out to comment and engage so that your post gets a higher chance or making it to the explore section. And Instagram is able to show it to more people uh, based on their interests. So that, that's basically, there are different things that change on the algorithm. So before they say put your hashtag in the post, now they say put your hashtag in the comments. Just keep checking all those updates. Uh, yes. All right, thank you very much. So, um, this one is very quick. Uh, what's the one thing that you believe about running a business on Instagram that everyone else disagrees with? I don't know. What's the one thing that everybody else disagrees 
something I truly believe and this is the way to go. But I can't. Oh, like I always say put your prizes and you disagree with me. Put your prizes on your on your passion. And many people disagree with me. So I'm like, ah, Shisha, my computers will find the product. So let me so let me uh, tell you. I feel that you are wasting your time, your valuable time, your useful time, your Instagram page, your Instagram space, posting items without price. Why? When we go on the website to shop. Do we call a phone number to get the price? When you shop on Konga and Junior, and that, do you go on WhatsApp to get the price? When you're on Amazon, when you're on eBay, when you're on Shopify, and the price is not there, why are you making me go through stress to add your number? You're not my friend, I don't want you in my WhatsApp. Why do you want me to go through that stress of adding you to my WhatsApp and now chatting with an uncount and rude fellow, by the way, which most of them are, and asking for prices? That's not the half the time. People make decisions on the go. So that's something I need to like, no, my boxer will know. Are you joking? I'm your, if I'm your competitor, I know all your prices. I've sent my father, my brother, my lover, my mother, my father to inquire as your, as your uh, customer. And I have your price list, full price list. If you change it, I have it the next day. So I don't understand. If you think that we are very stupid, we don't know how to get your prices, I will now like, stop joking. I think you should be except you do bespoke, where it's based on how I want my clothes, that you can now chat to me, if you want 100 pairs, Want this. But this regular training wallpaper, this, the, uh, put off the price there. Because I'm not thinking, some people will say, oh, that pays, like they're expensive. Then they now see your friend, like, ah, I thought you would be priced you. Your page looks very, and then who has had that? So put off the price and let us make up our mind already. So that's one thing that many people say. All right, thank you very much. So, um, who are some of the businesses that are doing this thing right that you think people here can learn from? Are there like a few business pages on Instagram that you can recommend? Uh, in any industry? Yeah, any industry. Like, oh, okay, have... so food, Denise Kitchen. <laughs> Denise Kitchen. She is a Nigerian chef living in London. And she sells food to people in over 12 countries from London. Um, I think that she does an amazing job with her page because on her page, she, she creates stories, right? So her content is stories, so it's telling story. So we all feel like we know Juni. So we know Big Juni. Big Juni is her mother. So she tells you about Big Juni, how Big Juni taught her to cook the stew, how her grandmother taught her. Like, I know everybody in her life, but I've, I've only met her once at GT Bank, food fair. I'm like, hey, where's Big Juni? And she was laughing. I'm like, I know the <laughs> You know, so and she, her picture quality is so amazing. That you sometimes you want to leave the phone. Because the food looks so delicious. She's showing you videos when she's turning the meat and you're like, ah, ah, auntie, what is this? So it wasn't difficult when she launched her own sauce and she was selling the sauce to people in over 40 countries. Right? And we had all become family that anybody who goes to London will carry the sauce for her when coming back. So if she had people, she there are angel carriers. We just call her, oh, do you hear me? London, do you have your tree? Let me carry for you. And people were bringing bags. She will pay for your excess luggage, of course. We're bringing your tree for her to Nigeria for her customers. So I think that's one person. If you're in food, go and sleep on her page from the beginning to in today's post and see how she engages with people and you can learn something. For fashion, what you mentioned. Um, so what you mentioned is a page where uh, it's a different type of fashion. If you have items in your, ha your wardrobe that you don't wear, she'll take it and sell it for you. So those of us who want to get designers, and we do have designer money. And those of you who have designer and are not wearing it, she'll make us together. Um, so her page is something that I recommend for fashion. But she also gives tips on how to style. Her pictures are crystal clear. Um, each post has details on what you're buying, the price, the size. 
um, and all that. So yeah, that's in page. So is there anyone doing any business that's outside of food and um, fashion? Children's food. Let's just take three. Okay, there's children's food there. Travel. Software development and travel. Children's wear, which brand do I recommend? Products general. Products, products. Educational. Toys. Check, uh, uh, what do you call them? The Little Big Kid Company. The Little Big Kid Company. They have store, three stores in Lagos. The Little Big Kid Company. They sell children's educational items, etc. Um, yes, yeah, so check out how their page works. Check out industry. Uh, someone said something about uh, travel. 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 DMP travel. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. Where? Second name. Creative engineer. Auto parts. Auto parts. Auto parts. I didn't do anything. All right, let's let's move. <laughs> let's move. All right, so now um, <clears throat> we're getting to the final stages now. So here, just general advice. What's the one most important advice that you give business owners about how they should use Instagram to grow their business? So that one most important advice I hear. One most important advice for your business. Well, be consistent. It's really, it's really um, that simple. Um, be consistent. Consistency pays, right? And I always use myself as an example. So I started, I started, um, I think April, fully April last year. So this is like a month, a year. Like a year, four months, um, and except I was ill, I, I post three times every day. And what has happened is the, it has helped me grow um, followers who have become family. So there was a time I was away for a week, they were looking for me. Some of them came to my office, some of them called my assistant. My DM was cool. Are you okay, coach? Where are you? Hello, where's Trisha? Just tell us she's okay. You know, so um, it it works a lot. If I and I see people who are consistent. So, for instance, um, there's a lady who sells hair, hair by Wanaka. Um, and so she is one of the biggest hair retailers in Nigeria. Um, but she's there every day. She's there dancing every day. Dancing is her own strategy. She will fix. She fixes new hair every two days. She has to fix the hair. She's her own model. So you can see that these are people who are making hundreds of millions monthly, but they still wake up and put in the work because Instagram is the only place she markets, right? And the same thing with me. Instagram is the only place I market. I tried Facebook for a week. I left there. Um, so I'm there personally for for business. I couldn't keep up. Right, so you need to show all everybody I know that is successful on Instagram, they are consistent. So audience need to know that they will wake up and see you. You know, if I use the loose example, so let's say you saw a nice restaurant on your way here, right? You saw a restaurant on this room. So you got home and told your friend, hey guys, there's this is fine place who ah, that place looks like it's correct. Everybody's like, let's go there for lunch. We now get there and it's closed. What will happen? You be like that. No, you can even still say ah, maybe something happened. That let's go come back and eat the food is sweet too. So we'll not keep that. It's the food is sweet in our head. We'll not come back the second day. It's closed. What will happen? Okay. That's the same thing with your page. So we come back. It's the same post of four days ago. We go. We come back. Same post five days ago. Ah, then we we'll look for an alternative and we keep moving because except your product is customized. And it's very unique. Your customers are not loyal on Instagram. They are not loyal. If you have a type of business that there are many alternatives, it's not custom to you, right? They are not loyal. When you don't show up, you don't show up, you don't show up, they'll be gone. So consistency is what I would say. Uh, yeah. All right, thank you very much. So um, what opportunities are there for people in the room to partner with your business, the business gas station? Um, you can just talk right there. Uh, so, um, Haha wrote down, which is why she's coming. 
tranquility. So I apologize for that. Okay. Yeah, so this is a daily one of our It's good to have you. More with my special is brand than the business gas station. Um, so business gas station is my uh, consulting firm where I offer several services for small business through so marketing strategy, sales, distribution, um, structure. There's so many services we offer there. Um, so there is more business, but the partnerships can be with my personal brand, uh, Trisha Pace. Um, and it will vary, right? So I have partnerships with a couple of brands. Um, one of them, the partnership ended two months ago, um, a fashion firm where um, I'll pay certain amounts and she'll cook me. And if I went out for events, I'll post up her, I'll post up the outfit and she'll sell a minimum of 20 or what I'm wearing for every post I put up. Um, so yeah, so there are some of those types of partnerships that can exist for no event. So um, how do people continue to learn from you even after the event? Oh, follow me. So I teach almost every day for free on the page. And every Wednesday I have a one hour live class where I teach uh, for free. So my handle is Trisha Bees, T-R-I-C-I-E-B-I-E. -I -I -E. there, there are several screens around. So just yeah. so there's Trisha Bees here, you can follow her. So like um, get updates about um, what is up to date. Um, from the Nigeria branch yeah, here. Sure. And also let me follow the page that handle so people stop really post them. All right, thank you very much. So, um, are you settled in now? Let me go. <laughs> no, I, I think we've actually got all the questions for her. So, um, I'll just come through the questions I have here, and um, some that I think uh, you want your unique um, insight from to. So, um, So, um, what are some Instagram features that uh, people might not know of that you, or that you think that people are not leveraging um, that they're leveraging on you now? How many people know that you can actually reduce the amount of people that comment on your page? Like, it's not everybody who follows you that can comment on your page. Raise up your hand if you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, People don't know that you have the sentence of making sure that not everyone who follows you can actually comment. So, um, in a case where, and we hope not to be in that case, maybe Instablog carries you, 
and for that reason, so you need to update your pocket to see. Um, you can actually put some good words and say anybody that says this kind of um, words, it's fine, it's can go. But if this person who says this kind of words, don't allow the person to post it. So people come to your page, they see how nice <laughs> Instagram is. It's all about perception, you understand? So they see how nice people are commenting, and they think that is exactly how it is. But some people aren't allowed to comment because either they're not following you or they're using the words that you have refused for them to follow it to. Right, so basically what you're saying is that you can script up some types of comment based on some keywords that are indicative of the type of comment that they're going to be. Alright, thank you very much for that. So um, quickly too, um, what's the best way to um, what's the best way to yeah, what's the best way to leverage new Instagram features such as Instagram stories and IGTV and how do you use them on your own? Because if I told you about personal branding, because everybody wants to hear a story, they want to understand you from your point of view, and not from the point of view of your creative greatness. How do you feel if I, I would prefer to work with you, but I will not necessarily want to enter a face that, because it makes me feel like I'm connecting to you directly, even though you are still the one representing the whole brand. It's as if you are more personal. So that is just the same thing we have to use Insta stories for. Instagram stories are used to show behind the scenes. Are used to help your business to grow in terms of letting people know about your brand, telling stories about your business, and making people understand that um, you're the normal, everyday entrepreneur. Things happen, you know. And people just like people who are genuine, people who are truthful to themselves, and they just, you know, fun. So we can't have a very bad day and we come on the page and they're not giving us much, much. I think we are back in the office. We don't want that. We want to be able to come to your Instagram stories, use your IGTV to create something that when we see, we would love to, you know, comment, like, engage, send you a DM, ask you for your number or something. Something that will help us to connect more with you. All right, thank you very much. So, um, from your own perspective, how often do you think our businesses should ideally post on um, Instagram? So, um, so let's let's take our questions first from the audience, and we'll get back to a few other questions that um, we have for you. All right. So, um, are there people that have any questions? We're going to take uh, just four questions for the start, and then depending on um, how much time we still have left, then it will. We'll see if we can take more questions. So no one has a question. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, um, still. Okay. Um, so let's take one. Um, um, two. You want to ask a question too, right? Okay, then three and also four from there. Okay, um, still. Uh, so the, your visual identity, you should sit with a 
um, be professional, to you help know, you get your colors right, your color palette, your logo, uh, even what's unique about you, you know, all that. Templates, stationery, t-shirt designs, all the things that you need to build your brand, right? You should use a professional. Um, but then when it comes to everyday Instagram posts or designs, because let's look at it, if I want to um, post something that you, a graphic designer would design one every day, that's seven in a week, right? Seven times four, 28. The average, that day is very nice, it's 5K by design. 5K times 28. Somebody. Mm -hmm. That doesn't look like that. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, loosely, 5K times 28. 140. So that's an average. It could be lower, it could be more. You know, well, for me, it works like that. The guy that was signing for me was 5K per day. So I'm talking based on my experience, per post. That money. That money. Yeah, so, so, so I'm just using a, a, a loose example. Guys, just chill. Take the knowledge and run with it. Whether it's 5K per post or 500 per post, you can use that money and invest it to your business. You can use that money and pay for a course that will teach you how to sell better. You can use that money and get a professional website. There's so many things you have been doing with the money. But a small business, your loaning options are limited. The odds are against you, literally. So if it's to build your brand, the basics, you definitely need to go to a uh, designer. And for the important course, like when I have training, I don't build the designs myself. I would use uh, the designer for all my training courses. Or every day, like, oh, to grow your business, you should eat rice and beans. I'm doing myself on camera. You know, so that's what I that's what I always advocate for the everyday ones, do it yourself. But for those main ones, like um, maybe felicitations, happy Christmas, happy Easter, let's be professional and get someone to do it. Yeah. Okay. So, the manual. You want to add something? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Okay, hi. My name is Christian Lanqui. Um, basically, I mean, I'm a full stack web developer, okay? I do you and UX and graphics and all that. Okay, basically, I, I have a thing for thinking and um, soft solutions, basically. I might not charge you. I don't charge basically for this because it's not my core. But basically, I need ideas. So for design, camera, for instance, if you don't want to start paying 5K every design you do, all right, running so lots of money at the end of the month, what you do, you can actually think, think of what you want. Okay, tell your designer to design it. I did, I have for it. I've done that for a couple of people. I tell you, I did designs ahead of time, and I tell you the font to use, and the software to use. At times, you might not want to go on, and you might just want to put something up in your system, and roll them up probably next week. So, your designer can give you a consistent design template that can run for a month. You understand? And, and can download the font you would also use. So, you just pick up the money, the design is there, you tell it up, put the font up on first. Yeah, yeah, of course, that can work for some types of businesses, but those that don't just take things, that need to come up with different types of content, right? Um, so maybe the guy can give them a couple of templates that they can use. But the truth is, even if you are going to use Canva or Design or whatever it is, you still need your graphics designer to give you um, your brand identity, so the fonts your brand uses, the color. He will do that as a template, that's what I'm saying. And all that. Alright. Let's take as many questions as we can now. Um, just questions, please, for now. Hello, everyone. My name is Tomio Alita. I have a question concerning starting up. When you just start up with your Instagram page, at what point do you stop following your Considered and followers. Because when you start, um, if you keep doing that, you're, you'll follow more people that are following you. So that, I don't think that would be good for your page in the long run. So at what point do you stop that? 
Who said you should follow your competitors? <laughs> Not your competitors. Your competitors follow us. Follow us. Yeah. So we really don't you see the problem a lot of people have is that you have not understood or defined your target market. The moment you do it, hmm? you understand that you don't the things that your com competitors are doing are not necessarily ex exactly what you plan to do. So they may have here, they may have here, they may have there, but not one person may be doing exactly as you want to do it. So stop focusing on following your, your targeted, um, your competitors' followers. Try and start building um, postmates, ed educating your competitors, sorry, educating your followers, trying to outsmart them by on your content. When you start doing that, what happens is that you don't even need to call anybody. People will start coming to you. They will start smiling to your name. As a tech, what, um, one of the things that I prefer is to see how many people who are coming to my DMs than how many likes I get and how many comments I get. As far as I'm selling out, that is what matters. So ask yourself, what's What's more important to you? So if it's the followers and going to the competitor's page. Because guess what? At the time, you will start feeling envious. You will start feeling, oh, this person is doing better for me. So, or you start feeling like um, you are in a rat race with somebody. Just focus on your focus. Have a tunnel vision. When you're on Instagram, as you have to come up with also a strategy. Everybody needs to learn how to start researching on Instagram. When I come on Instagram, I don't even know which celebrity has dumped their husband, or I don't even have time for that because I check my books, maybe I have not hit my target, and I said to myself, okay, I'm going to consistently go to these people and see how I could be able to sell, or I will start engaging with these people's pages and see how I can be able to market to those people. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So try your best to focus on educating, outsmarting, outsmarting your own competitors and be able to move them. Okay, so if I also speak to the question, so it's funny that's a strategy, right? Uh, because different strategies work for different types of businesses. So it's fine if your strategy is to go and look for your customers and follow them. Uh, but instead of, instead of uh, piling up your following and following more people, those that you have followed, how do you engage them? So maybe when you followed up to a certain number, you can stop and then begin to engage with them. So go on their pages and engage that you realize that, oh, this person is there. And you can go into DM and engage. So follow, stop, engage. Instead of following, 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 and you're not engaging with those that you've already got to follow. And to add to what she said, in terms of engaging, there are different ways of engaging. So, if you see someone maybe made a post, I'm like, oh my god, I had a bad day. You can like, comment, put on post of, yes, we comment on this post pages. Then you're like, oh, wow, sorry, yo, I hope you're feeling better. Come from an approach that you actually do care. People come from the approach of, I want to come and start selling to you. No, you, you don't know me from Adam, you just don't slide into my ear. Just that come from an approach, and I keep using this as an example. If you as a guy, you want to chide a girl, what do you do first? You start, you take time. You take time, you put your, your, your rules, right? Come in the mood. Come in the mood, right? I'm, 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 i the same thing with your, your, your people who you want to target, the people who you want to sell to. Go that route. Why would you just like this my game and say, oh, I'm selling this? Yeah. Okay, when you finish writing, you see nobody will respond. But when you come as from a loving, peaceful kind of way, and before you go, you come up to you. Do you understand? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's leave you right there. have a business and say you want to be something like a food blogger and you want to have a brand 
that deals specifically with nearing restaurants, hotels, catering services, um, maybe recipe, and you want to build that brand, what kind of advice can you give somebody like that? Okay, so um, that's special business. Special business is not a business. Special business is a personal brand. And it's not about that. Are you following your food page? Um, no, thank you. That's what she does, Gandhi. Um, she reviews restaurants, food, hotels, etc. Um, so you need to build it as a business, even though it's not a business, right? Um, because you are going to be doing business with the hotels and your audience. Um, so what I'll tell you is one, find yourself. Find yourself. So there are two people I know that review, your food kit and Inkechi Reviews. Inkechi Reviews is sarcastic. We go to her page to read, she has a caustic tongue. So we go there because you are, before you read it, you're like, hey, this is quite trouble, right? Whereas Uganda is more like this. You know, there's somebody who reviews movies, the Delphinator. Delphin, right? She is like this. She'll say, she'll give you a few bad things and then she'll say the nice thing. Whereas the other person who reviews, um, Shola Thompson, he has a caustic tongue. It will tell you how horrible the movie was, right? So first is find yourself. What kind of persona do you want to bring to the table? Are you going to go caustic? Are you going to be nice? Are you going to be this? And then begin to grow your content in that light, right? So don't come out first like, oh, it's business. How to reveal um, restaurant is what we are is this? No, be giving us content, right? So if you go on your good gigs page, you see that. She engages with us and asks us questions like, um, what would you like to see in hotels? What, do you, what annoys you most? Is it the dirty dishes or is it the annoying? You know, like she tries to create that engagement and then it's slowly building the brand to the point that now restaurants are coming to look for her. She did not go to look for them. So I always advise, do you find your personal one, build content. Build your following will come. Many of us are born on Instagram and looking for the next big thing. So we'll come. But when we come, when we meet an original page, we'll see another comment. Alright, thank you very much. Um, I think another handle you can follow is on Eat Drink Lagos. They do review all our food too. So, oh, she's what? not listening. Hello. Hi, madam. Yes. Eat Drink Lagos. So, they actually, you know, they get, we know how that started. So, you should see. Another thing also, go and understand your competitors. Don't go and look at them as they are now. Go down to the best day they open their pages. How are they speaking? How did they start growing? How did people start responding to them? When did they have their first comments? How many times they have, what were people saying? People, people just come and want to be like Niger Branch. No, I started to speak to Do you understand? Go down. Check what am I doing? How did I get well? Why did I change my phone? Am I still here? Do you understand? December 10, 2015, I'm still here. So you know, so you have to make sure you scroll down, look at all these things. Then you now ask yourself, okay, oh no, now look at I can see what the mistake she made here. No, uh, no, I'm on the right track. Maybe I can now do better than instead of going through this happy state in our road. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So don't look at people from the you know peripheral level and just think you can just be there. No. Go down, educate yourself, then you now know how to come up with your own strategy. Yeah. Uh, my name is Amanda. So I make jewelry pieces. Um, I will do jewelry And I noticed that a lot of people don't know that I do different kinds of jewelry. So I do accessory, I do either jewelry, I do jewelry for men, and I do black out the so, uh, so what I noticed was some people, I just heard people say, you get to go to the Oh, you do beats as well. And I'm like, that's what I started doing. So what I started doing was, I created a separate account. So, sorry. So I was going to do something. I don't know how to hide my business. So, <laughs> so, okay. But for the men story, I had to create a separate account. Because I don't want guys to come and be scary. And you don't know that I made. So I just want to know what do you what do you advise like? What is on your bio? What is on your bio? That what? is why people are confused. We don't know what you do. 
What you have there? Can we move your keys right this? Please open it, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> So it's it has to be a man. 
but you have to use that particular, you know, do you understand? So you can actually manage your content that way. Mm -hmm. And then the second grid, ladies, and the third one, education, fun, and yes. other things. Thank you. Alright, thank you very much. Um, the hello, hello. hello. Hi, my name is Rashida, guy of Founder Lifestyle. So I make herbal teas, but they are from they are all plant based, and um, I'm struggling a lot to get followers. Again, you mentioned content. Now, how would I go about my content?
Instagram, we used to visualize it. We look out for the timestamp. Those of us that are posting late and that we are dead, you know that this one is suffering so there's not any other thing. We can't sleep, so Instagram is the next thing, or we watch movies. And then begin to target us one more. Yes. <laughs> So it's uh, actually 1.15 already. We said we were going to uh, finish this by 1 o'clock. So uh, two things. Do we end this now, or uh, do you still want to ask a question? <laughs> <laughs> so like, show of hands if you want us to end this now. We will explain. If you want us to continue. Uh, OK, sure. Then we'll take two more questions before we uh, round this up. So uh, OK, yeah, one. Uh, yeah, thank you. I
ultimate aim for the TV show? Is it to get more views, to get more people to see it on YouTube, or now we have IGTV, to see it on IGTV? What is the ultimate reason why they started? When you find out that you now know how to create your content, so if it's because of you want to get the views or make people to see, so you just put a little clip on your page and let the controversial part, definitely the controversial sales on Instagram, the controversial part, I'm like, ah, ah, what happened? Like, so go and watch it on YouTube or go and click on the link in bio to get it up or go to IGTV to watch it. Do you understand where I'm coming from? So, yeah, you, you remember Charles being uh, full of them before he was, you know, those things he does actually. Now, everything, everything, okay, everything, everything is happening live. Shall we do that on radio? But now you're doing it on TV. You can actually relate more and ask questions, that kind of stuff. Going live, but he's doing it on a live, like, live on Instagram. No, it's, it's, it's recorded. It's recorded. It's recorded. It's going to be recorded. It's much easier. But if we have to also understand the person's personal life, because if you're going to be doing a TV show, if it has to be something personal, you know, the, that personality, that brand personality also needs to also come in. But at the end of the day, we want to find out what exactly is the person's aim, goal, what you want to really achieve for creating stuff before you can be able to know how to create your company. <laughs> okay, so what I would say is, so the person wants to like share my issues. Like that channel. Share, share that issues and solve my issues. Okay, alright, that's good. Nice. I think that's good. Um, I think that one, the best thing needs to build a community on Instagram. That's one way that you can leverage um, Instagram. So for instance, you know the love Dr. Juru? So um, we'll go there and read all those funny things that he posts and then people will be commenting. And some people sleep on Juru's page. Uh, so whoever it is needs to build a community like that. Um, but not necessarily copy Jero's style. Um, get people to converse on Instagram. So it will be, let's say the video this week, we're talking about cheating spouses. He will come and throw a question on Instagram and get us to talk. Oh, so what do you think? Is it the guy's fault? Is it the girl's fault? Do you understand? Um, and then slowly, slowly, he'll be able to build that community on Instagram, and then you can now begin to direct us to YouTube to watch the full clips. You know, so the full clip is, let's say it's a 30 minute video, you make it into one minute that you advertise on YouTube. So like she said, the most interesting or the high points in the whole 30 minutes video, bring it out into one minute, edit it, and throw it on Instagram. So when we watch it, like, ah, where's the remaining one? And they can now say go and watch the full thing um, on YouTube. But whatever it is, sex sells, love sells, relationship sells. So it's a selling market. You know, whichever way he wants to go. So he can go and study I want or quite babies on YouTube. They are on Instagram as well. Instagram, the husband is Ayo Davis, the wife is Okwe Davis. Now they're a Nigerian couple that live in London and they talk about their lives and teach us how to be better spouses. And they built an amazing community that they came to Nigeria for uh, Ayo's father, Ayo's mother's birthday. And they said, who wants to meet and greet? We all went to meet and greet them. We don't know them before. But because they had built a community, they used themselves, their love life, to explain how we can have godly marriages. So we're there, we're waiting. The day they don't post, I have fun. We didn't see the post. You know, and it's, also they have a warm personality that they bring to the video. So the person has to be. Instagram, build the community, get us to interact, get us to answer questions, get us to give our opinions, and then use it to market the food. If there's a page that I like, very well, there's a the secret place wives. So they talk about things that, you know, most of the time when we as women, when we want to get advice from our fellow women and they just tell us the things that we want to hear, the lady doesn't do that. She tells us what is supposed to be. And whether you like it or not, 
you know if you treat data in your mind that this is what you're supposed to be doing for your husband and you're not doing it, that's why it's the easy kind of Instagram. Um, do you understand? And because of she says all those things, she has been able to grow her page so seamlessly. So look for things that are actually, if you're going to share life issues, or we're going to share something, try and get a niche, something you're going to be really good at and make sure that people, you know, understand you. Do you understand and use that to grow? All right, thank you very much. Um, I don't think there are any more questions on it. Oh, okay, maybe this should be the last question then, before we round up. My name is Sammy. My name is Sammy, and I work with Express Company that provides printing and, and branding services for you know, for that. So my question, however, now, as Express is now, we do printing, we do branding, you know, but let's put it like, Majorly, where, where do you make money from is web browse and the web browse is also post on Instagram. Once the ad is found, it has to be a web browse, you have to browse and enter the comments and text. But what I want to ask my wife is, which ideas can we use to partner with other companies to keep things going between us and their side of us? I've been black in that side. Have you come up with a package for small business? Um, Not really a package, but we have products. No, what is the pro is this something that I would like like now? So we talked about this whole digital stuff and all. Is it, what what have you thought about that is actually one of our biggest problems as small business owners and how have you been able to sell that particular you know pain point solution to you know? Like let's say you, you do cosmetics now, you do discount products, we, we provide the bills for you. And then when you are delivering to the summer, we also give you paper bag that you can Have you said to us, okay, I'm going to give you the first two small for free, then you will now, or what? Have you ever tried to do anything like that? Yeah, we do free, but yeah, sometimes we do free and then they don't come and pay this out. <laughs> <laughs> so, there are different ways of doing free. You can say, um, if you pay for this, the next one is free or something. So let them have something to pay for first before they can do that. Yeah. Basically, basically, what I was talking about is how we can partner, not for customers, okay, but for other brands. Exactly. Yes. You already said you're going to use DMs. Well, another thing I want to say to you is that try and look for someone who actually is, you have, you may have to pay to some people. Yes, you may, for partnership. Listen, you may have to pay for influencers to partner with you before if they don't know you. Because we don't know you. Do you understand? That doesn't matter. Or you may have to do some things for free for them, and then they will now post it on their pages. Then the best form of influencer partnership is really those from the influencers who have your crowd. If you don't have your crowd at the end of the day, it will not still make sense to you to partner. At the end of the day, because the end point is for you to make sales. Do you understand? Now, for you now, we want to do that. We share the same kind of entrepreneurial now. If we want to partner with you, how do we? Give you value and if you okay, well, this is enough for me to partner to partner with experts. You need so you so need to, to, you know, what, what um, so you need to quantify the value that you want from the influencer and see how you can reciprocate it with your services, right? Um, so I have a similar I have a similar partnership with another organization. Um, so they offered to design and print to a certain point and in exchange they wanted ABC. Um, so there are different ways. Print magic, what print magic does is they create a coupon, a discount coupon for the influencers and they would tell them that okay so depending on the people who you, so of course they'll print X, Y, Z number of things free for the influencer and in addition, the number of people who use your coupon, you get something per head. So it's two things. It makes the influencer help them maybe post it more than once um, because they're like, okay, I'll get something. It might not be anything meaningful, but just the fact that they said they will give something if people use your coupon code. You know, so there are different ways. Um, they go about they always go for long term, no more. I have one more thing to say about what we have 
So for the labor in this member, I have a company that also I engage with for my labels. So because of my, I, we would always use labels. We have a long time, they were like, okay, um, we're going to be producing maybe say 5,000 for instance. And in that 5,000, you just say it's small, small, like you will have, you don't need to take the whole 5,000 as it wants. But you, we are going to be the person who you will meet. It's like a standing order. I need this, they will deliver. And because of that, you give me that kind of uh, flexible plan. I would just have to talk about them. Do you understand? Because it's not always uh, people like you guys will always tell us to pay off. So it's thank you. So they are not doing that. So they're telling me pay small, small. While I talk about them, and it works for us. Do you understand? All right, thank you very, very, very much for that question. Um, I think this is going to be the last one I'll take. And um, thank you very much for coming, you guys. <coughs> um, I really do hope that we actually have to leave now. So um, we can engage them. Wait, wait, you can engage them um, via Instagram or maybe after the event officially ends. Um, so these are the handles. There's Nigel Branchick, there's Trisha Bees. I'm sure they wouldn't mind um, one or two questions from you guys. And eventually, after the program ends officially, you can also engage. And there are people that um, have to go, so we have to end it especially. So thank you very much for everyone that has come here today. We really do appreciate that you guys coming here. And I do really hope, I really do hope that uh, we're going to leave this place with uh, uh, a better idea as to how to optimize your Instagram business pages in ways that are going to bring you more followers, more customers, and uh, Grow your business up eventually. So thank you very much. When they start to do they have that you bring more people to train for free. We 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 actually always have plans for like events like this to um so sometimes it's not Instagram, sometimes it's some other thing. Yeah. So it depends. Um, yeah but I just if you do not already have a Facebook account, like everyone here, I believe, is a business. Um, you both you have a business, you run a business, right? And you want to collect payments from your customers, right? So um, create a Facebook account, and you'll be able to use the Facebook platform to accept payments from your customers online instead of sending them your uh, your account uh, stuff like that. You understand? So they can pay you when you're sleeping anytime. People from outside Nigeria, between the social with Kenya, um, USA, anyone can pay. So thank you very much. And if you deliver outside of the country, based on those that a lot of people say, how can I collect money in dollars? That can I collect? You can show me advertising that part. Yeah. People don't talk about it. They do it, and a lot of people slide into my DM. I don't know how to. My, someone is asking me for people that are talking. You see, you didn't know. I just see. You don't have it. Like it's just there. They are being collected. Yes, now. Yes. Oh, I'm really. I use PayPal for now. I use it for all my training. Oh no, you can accept it. Um, I'm telling you. Yeah. I don't know. We don't know. Okay, <laughs> no, no, no. So that's fine. Right. So it's, it's actually like a big promising that accepting payments from anyone anywhere in the world. So and we do mean that. So there's technology um, already to help you accept payments from anyone anywhere in the world, paid with any currency that they paid with. Yeah, so now you know, um, you speak that to accept your international. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. So, um, should we like